In this video, I'm going to work through and find the exact value for the sine of 42 degrees, and I'm going to do so using the difference formula here, or the difference identity for sine, and of course that has this expansion, so we're saying the sine of, and we have two angles, A and B, and when we subtract them, we can expand it this way, it's the sine of A, which is the first angle, times the cosine of b, which is the second angle, minus the sine of b times the cosine of a. And so to make 42 degrees, let's go ahead and break this down, and we'll say it's going to be 72 degrees minus 30 degrees, okay? So we can say it's going to be the sine of 72 degrees times the cosine of 30 degrees minus the sine of 30 degrees, times the cosine of 72 degrees. And you'll see up top here, we have a couple of helper values. So it's the sine of 18 degrees and the sine of 72 degrees. And I'm using these two values, uh, well, because we need them, first of all. But second, I'm using these sine in particular values because these values I have made videos for already. So I made them from scratch. So the sine of 18 degrees and the sine of 72 degrees, which are given by these expressions, I found these values from scratch in other videos, and I have gone ahead and linked to these videos down in the description for this video. And I would say these are much more interesting to probably watch than, say, this one, because all we're doing here is just using the difference identity for sine, and we're just plugging values in that we already know. But these values, you know, those aren't automatically known by everyone, not like the cosine of 30 or the sine of 30 that your calculator can give you pretty easily. Okay, so here we go. So the sine of 72 degrees, well, I have that right there. So we have the square root of 2 over 4 and multiplied by this uh, radical expression. And then times the cosine of 30 degrees. And that, of course, is the square root of 3 over 2. And so minus the sine of 30 degrees, which is 1 half, times the cosine of 72. Well, sine and cosine have this really nice relationship where the cosine of one angle and the sine of the complement of this angle are going to be equal to one another. So instead of using this cosine of 72 degrees, I can use the sine of 18 degrees because 18 and 72, of course, are complementary. They add up to 90 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and exchange this for the sine of 18 degrees, which is one-fourth times this quantity, the square root of 5, minus 1. Okay, so all we need to do now is just kind of clean this expression up a bit, and then we have the exact value for the sine of 42 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and multiply it out front by that. So we have ourselves a square root of 6 over 8, and then times this radical expression. And from that I'm going to subtract, and I can multiply these together and get a 1 eighth times the quantity, and we have the square root of 5 minus 1. Okay, well this is not too bad at all. So I'm saying this is the exact value for the sine of 42 degrees. Uh, no rounding, and nothing like that, so we just have a couple of irrational numbers that we're subtracting. So let's go ahead and grab a calculator. We'll plug it in and kind of ensure that sine of 42 is actually going to be this expression. Okay, so here's our calculator. We'll just kind of push everything up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and say uh, inverse sine. Okay, and then we're going to put this uh, value in and see if we get 42 degrees. So we're going to start out with the square root of 6, and we're dividing that by 8. And we're going to multiply that by this square root expression, this 5 plus radical 5. And from that, we're going to subtract, and we have ourselves a 1 8 right there. And we're going to multiply that by the square root of 5 minus 1. And then, yeah, 42 degrees. Okay? So we do see that this expression that we just found is going to be the exact value for the sine of 42 degrees. And once again, the way we got that is by using uh, the difference identity for sine and also including these two other values, the sine of 18 degrees and the sine of 72 degrees. Once again, uh, I have these values and I found them from scratch and those are in two other videos that I have linked down below. So go ahead and check those out as well.